see in this list of you know your targets to see who do you think would be the most viable in terms of getting the whole conference behind? I know there's some talk about Mayorkas, but who do you see as kind of the top target there? I think um, Mayorkas is definitely uh, the easiest one to impeach on my list. Um, but I would argue that Christopher Ray <coughs> would be second. Today there's a weaponization of government committee going on this morning where there are whistleblowers testifying, FBI uh, whistleblowers testifying, who had their security cl clearances taken away, um, even though they have whistleblower status. Um, not only is uh, Christopher Ray, Ray weaponizing the FBI against American citizens, he's also weaponizing it against actual employees of the FBI, employees that are doing their job and are coming forward bravely to try to tell the truth about the things that are happening within the FBI. That is extremely concerning about what's happening. Also, uh, it was just announced in the news uh, sometime this week uh, that, that the FBI, and I believe it's Christopher Ray himself, is asking a judge to keep um, a, a laptop by a DNC staffer. Uh, what was that guy's name? Seth Rich, uh, they're trying to hold that from the public for 66 years. Like, what is there to hide? It, these are these are the kinds of things that shouldn't happen. Christopher Ray does his job as the FBI director, where he puts the party, his party, the Democrat Party, above the country, and that's wrong. It should always be the country above any party. It should be the country first. And he swore an oath uh, for that purpose to the country. Uh, not to any political party, um, and that is why he must be impeached. So I think there's a very strong case there for Christopher Ray. We can move those same arguments for Merrick Garland um, in the weaponization of government. I tell you what, though, Matthew Graves, there's a strong case for him as well. He's not as well known as these others, um, and many of the people in our conference probably are just learning about him, but D.C. residents go through what they go through every single day. I mean, you all live and work here. The crime is horrific. Mayor Bowser herself, Chief Conti, um, they are wanting these people that Chief Conti and the Metro DC police are working hard to arrest. They want them in jail. And uh, when they testified this week in the oversight committee, I asked them directly, do you want these criminals put in jail? Chief Conti said, yes, he wants them to stay in jail. Mayor Bowser said yes, she wants them to serve out their, their time in prison before they're released. But Matthew Graves, who is the U.S. attorney that has the capability to prosecute local crime, is not putting anybody in jail. He's letting 67% of these cases go completely unprosecuted. And that affects people in our nation's capital, um, just regular innocent people that live and work here. And um, so I think as our conference learns more and more on this, they'll understand it. But here's what's more important. You're asking who, who, who will the conference move to impeach? The reason why I'm introducing these articles is because I would, I would say about 75% of the base um, of Republican voters, and then I would argue even more Americans, maybe that are not necessarily Republicans, they could be independents, and some of them could be Democrats, agree with impeachment because there's never any consequences for anyone in the federal government when regular American citizens face consequences all the time. And I'm introducing these articles um, because this is what people are demanding. They're demanding it and asking for it. And after talking to legal experts and analyzing the situation, it is the right thing to do. And it's, it is a rare thing to do, but it is the right thing to do because we're living in extraordinary times. The way our country is right now shouldn't be this way. And we have a duty, we have a duty as, as an elected office holder, as a representative, I have a duty, but so does other elective office holders. And I'll argue even more, employees in the federal government have a duty to the American people. We shouldn't be in the debt we're in, our borders should not be wide open. We shouldn't have lost tens of thousands of children. They shouldn't be in, working in, in slavery uh, in, in places that we don't even know, but even the New York Times wrote up a big piece about that. These things should not be happening. 
So we have a duty to impeach people. And our, thankfully our founding fathers gave us that right. Yeah. So on your intention to introduce articles of impeachment against Joe Biden, 